I'd like to introduce you guys to my printing press that I just got for free. It's an old Chandler and Price, about a hundred years old. It's a platen press, a letter press. It's worn out, and then it was used for parts. There are some pieces missing, although most of the obvious pieces I do have because this was dropped by about six inches, and a century-old cast iron equipment does not like being dropped, and so a bunch of stuff snapped off, like the handle snapped off, the ink platter popped off, the rollers rolled off, the levers snapped off. I, the, my mom said that the... Um, and the flywheel snapped off and went rolling, and so that was kind of scary. And so I do have a lot of the pieces that are obviously missing from this, but even though I have those, there most likely will be a, a few pieces that were taken from this, and I might have to make a replacement to solve the, the, the gap that those leave behind in the mechanism. It's free, but it's also really heavy, you know, because it's like I have, to, I have to pay all the effort to, to get it out of here. They just want it gone. So I have to get it lighter, broken down into smaller pieces. I believe it's actually a 15 by 11 letter press, which is actually a nice size. There's plenty of space. I think we should do a full teardown. Maybe not a full teardown here, but eventually do a full teardown because this thing is worn out, and that's why they couldn't use it anymore because everything is just too sloppy. I believe it's mostly this, mostly this stuff. So maybe I can learn how to insert bushings into like parts that have like worn out and stuff like that or whatever we'll figure it out as we go but right now it's disassembly time and I have to make sure I document everything I think we can start with this remove that and then that'll allow us to undo this shroud that should get off a little bit of weight and then maybe even see about those gears I'm not sure about that but we can see and then maybe look at these maybe we can just get this entire um, what is it, a chuck off? Not sure what the name for that is. I've, I've worked with printing press, I've worked around printing presses and stuff like that, but I haven't actually worked with them as a, a long lasting job, so I'm not too knowledgeable on the terminology and stuff. And then I believe maybe we can get it light enough to flip it over or just jack it up, but either way, try to get this arm off and maybe also the other arm, and that would allow this whole thing to swing down. And I believe then I can undo this by removing this pin. And so that would basically cut the weight in half, or close to half, and I would have this piece and that piece. And then we'll kind of figure out what to do after that. Well, I think let's just get started and see how light we can make this to see if we can actually even move it back to my house. Oh, nice. It's actually not that bad. I was kind of worrying that this would be all kind of locked up, but it's actually not going too bad. You know, it just occurred to me, I might be able to remove this entire headpiece right here first before removing this arm. So I think I'd start by doing that here and then I can take this piece off. So that once again is a fairly heavy piece of metal. And the bolts seem to be going fine, so that's good. I'm so happy that this was not like left outside or anything. Thankfully, it's covered in oil and nasty grease and ink and stuff like that, so you don't have to worry too much about oxidation, it's just oily, so that's actually really good, I'm really happy about that. Huh. The Chandler and Price Company, Cleveland, Ohio, USA. That's so cool. It looks so nice once I get this all cleaned up, and then I can like put white paint on the letters so they stand out really nice. If I'm going to do a full restoration, I might as well make a nice paint job, too. 
I think this piece right here can go too. I'll also get that piece with it. So I have to undo that, then get that and that, and that should come off easily. You know, it's kind of funny. These the, this wrench is probably made at the same time as this thing, so it's kind of cool. I like using tools from the same era as the thing I'm trying to open up. It's always kind of neat. Once again, that's a nice amount of weight there. Gonna make sure to put all the bolts back to where they were. I think it's probably the best way to make sure I know where everything is. There we go. Oh, yes. Out, kind of. Let me give it a little. Oh, no, I got it. Don't okay. get near it. Huh. I don't hurt it. I was going to tap it. You're my designated driver for the hospital. <laughs> no, Josh can do that too. Ah, it's out. Nice. Yay. So, are we taking the whole arm off next, or what's. Um, first off, we're taking this piece off because this piece ah. off slid off. Yeah. Or this piece slid off, whatever. My English isn't working. And then we're going to take that off. So, then hopefully, this thing can swing back and I might make it more manageable. We need we need to let this down. Keep this here. Or... Uh, let's relieve the other side so that's a jacked up on that side, okay? This here? Yeah. Okay? No, I'm fine. I'm just letting out a whoopee sound. There we go. Oh, man, this thing's fucking heavy. Well, I would just hate for the feet for this thing to go through the bottom of it. How big a skid are you wanting? Are you are you wanting to stand the whole thing up? Or yeah, it's going to be upright on the skid. So if we have to, we have to move the whole thing over this way more or something. Yeah, I can do that. The thing is, what is it... Are we putting it upright with the arm out? Or yes. putting the arm back up? Keeping the arm out so I can remove the arm. So I need to get underneath it. 
So you want me to lift the arm with the forklift? No. Okay. What am I lifting with the forklift? I was going to just put it here uh -huh. and then try to move it onto the skin. Still staying sideways? Or putting it right? Rotating it onto the skin, like moving it, rotating it onto right, the skin. Right, and what I'm saying is with that arm out there, I can't get underneath it to move it. Okay, and I can move it. That's all I'm saying. With the arm out, that's between the forklift and the item. I don't think you can get to the door. Anyway, you can so. pull the skid over to where you want it. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. Oh, fuck yeah. Hey, Maya. Hey, Maya, I got it. You did. Sweet. We're going to have to catch this. Huh? So, we're going to have to catch this somehow. Um, that'd be good for this little skid. Yeah. It's not like sword sharp, though. Yeah, your hands can move. Yeah, it's just digging more in the ground. Whatever, I don't care. I was just saying if we prop it up. Push the skin in as I pull back. I think it's in a more manageable place now. This, here, this is what I'm going to do. I think it's in a more manageable size now. Yeah, it is. I just put that, or can I keep this wooden tip back this way? Did you crowbar? No. Nope. Rubber-based ink. You know, Ma, you're pretty cool. Thank you. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. It's been a long day, and I think that's good enough for today. My mom's going to file it away in the warehouse, and we're going to come back to it later to take more parts off, or maybe move the entire thing. I think it might be broken down enough to move it. But I'm going to clean some of the parts I broke off of it, or took off of it, in the meantime, and then we can get back to moving that. So hopefully we should have a couple parts already cleaned by the time that gets to our house. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the first part I think that went pretty well for well just moving it by hand I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching see ya